Hello friends, welcome back. I have got two queries from the recent video that I have released, the sensible tutorial video. The first query is how to track the F and O adjustments in the sensible tool and what is the use of group feature and how to use it. In this quick video, I am going to cover these two features the adjustment and the group feature of sensible using the live positions that I have. I am not going to cover the adjustments itself for a, any strategy. The main focus here is how to track these adjustments in the sensible option trading tool. If you are new to the sensible option trading tool or if you want to quickly learn the major features that are used in the sensible option trading tool, there is a separate video for you to watch. The link is given in the description below. Let us jump into the sensible tool. So let me first show you how the groups are useful and how to use them in the sensible tool. So here is a live trade that I am showing. I have a reliance position and these are the option legs that I have for reliance position. So the positions I have is some of them, the, these three are for the September month. That is 29th of September, this Thursday, they are going to expire. And I also have two positions, one CE and one PE for the next month. That is 27th October is what they expire. This entire position I am tracking as a whole after few adjustments. But if you want to track some of these positions separately, for example, you want to track this month expiry position separately and next month expiry positions separately, we can do that using the groups. So let me deselect all of these positions. Now what I will do is I will select the positions of this month expiry that is these three. I'll select this, this, this. Okay. Now what I will do is I will add to groups. Click on the add to group here and then create a group. Let me choose the name as RIL September 20. 22 and create so the group is created so how do you track now you have to click here there is a group button here you will have to use that click on groups now you will see other groups of mine but this is the one that is created just now so now you see these three are tracked separately so you see the total p and l max profit max loss all these things are tracked as a whole now now let me go back to the positions and create another group for the next month expiry. So let me select 27th October two positions and then click on the add group. You can create a group now. I will select RIL October 2022 as the name. I created a new group. To track them separately, you will have to go to the groups and then now October expiry. See here, these two legs are tracked separately and the P and L is also separate separately shown. So now if you want to analyze this, this is actually what this is a triangle that is there for the next month expiry. So now you can also analyze this group separately and just pressed on the analyze. Yeah. So now you see, now you see the payoff graph, break even points, all the details separately for these two legs. So like that, you can select any of those groups and track them separately. Let me go back to the positions. So that is how we can create groups based on our need and track them separately. But in this case, I have them together and I have done few adjustments. I will now explain you how I did the adjustment and tracked as a whole position using a virtual trade. Let me now go to virtual trade, trade, virtual trade. I'll show you the adjustment that I have done. So this is the portfolio that I am using. I have different virtual trades, but this is the one that is tracked by me. You see here, this is a name RIL September live. The unrealized profit is minus 12.5K and I have already booked 16.5K uh, and the current profit and loss both put together is 4K. Okay, so that is how the P and L position is showing now. So what are the adjustments that I have done? Say for example, I also had, these are the positions that are running live and the grayed out ones are the, grayed out ones are the ones that I have already closed. So these two, I have already booked a profit here and this one also, I have already booked a profit. You can also see the details of the position that is already booked at what price 
I have sold and what price I have covered them. So these are the 21 minus 21.73 minus 9.8 is the profit number of points that I got from this trade that is reflected here as the booked profit. So like this I have done some adjustments and closed these positions. One thing you have to notice the closed positions from the positions window cannot be directly added to the virtual trade. You will have to do it manually. That's a limitation of the sensible. <clears throat> now let me show you how to add a position uh, to the virtual trade from the live positions. Let me delete this. For example, I have this 27th October two, uh, 2600 CE. I will delete this just for now to demonstrate. So I go to edit, just delete this done. Okay. Accordingly, my PNL will be reflected. Now I'll go back to the positions. So this is the one, right? 27th October 2600. So I will select only that position. I'm selecting only that position and then click a virtual trade. It will open all the portfolios under the virtual trade. I'm selecting my virtual trades next. And this is the position that I'm tracking. That is RIL September live position. I want to add it to that position, that group. Let me say done and confirm. Now you can open virtual trade directly. You see this gets added. You just saw that this gets added. Now it will reflect the updated PNL everything. You can also analyze from here. You can also analyze the entire position from here. That is also possible. You can add notes here. You can add notes what adjustments you have done, how many points you have got, all those things are possible. The best way to track the adjustments in Sensible tool is that as soon as you add a new trade, add it to the virtual trade position like the one that I just showed. The price, everything will get updated automatically. Once you exit the position, you will have to manually come to the position and then press on the exit button here and then add the price at which the position is being closed and then press on the exit button. The entire position will get updated automatically. So this is the best way to handle the adjustments in the sensible tool. This is because sensible will not keep the closed positions information overnight. It is not visible to you in the following trading day. So you will lose all that information. But whereas in the virtual trade window, all the positional information is available to you as long as you want to keep them. So this is the only way wherein we use the virtual trade to track all the adjustments. Friends, I hope you learned something new. If so, do support me by pressing a like button. Thank you for your time. See you soon with another video. Take care.